Michael Riddle here from the Royal Air Force. If you look on the third row there, we've got a couple of the street fighters you see. We've got a, where's that? We're looking for Sean Goldsmith as well, number 52. So keep your eye out for him, because he is, of course, the street fighter team championship leader. Yes, thanks, Steve. And then sort of 35 percent of you chasing Sean Goldsmith in that uh, Street Fighter Team Championship. But classes A, B, and C all ready to roll here at that lovely sunny Mallory Park. Not such a good start uh, at the front from Chris Matthews there, but uh, MC Martin Staniak in Class B and Sean Goldsmith in the blue and yellow leathers in Class C, getting away well at the front. Yeah, Sean Goldsmith only needs a win in the uh, team class to push the title, so Tony Gears will be doing all he can to uh, at least try and uh, stretch it out to one more round at Donington Park uh, in a week or so time. So uh, there we see Barry Arthur, number 30, ahead of uh, Mick Riddle, 44. Yeah, once again, as we saw in the earlier race, Barry Arthur, with some serious competition, one of these pleased for the most part of this season in Street Fighter B. But Martin Stanier, as you say, lots of new big machinery and uh, carrying the fight for Barry Upping and Nick the off him earlier on. We'll see whether Barry can respond this time. But there's Sean Goldsmith and Tony Hughes only a couple of places back. Uh, right, uh, the chase is on for Street Fighter C. Yeah, Chris Matthews, there we see as well, just trying to find his way, push his way through all the packs and. Uh, at the front here, nothing stopping Wilco, is it? Uh, those of you wondering where uh, Mr. Potato is, Keith Smith, he's uh, off his man flu this weekend. Uh, so he'll be at home in the warm. Uh, bit of a girl, isn't he? Uh, well, he's probably got a hot water bottle and he, Teddy will be keeping him company. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's always a shame when Keith Smith's not around because he's a great racer and an absolute massive character to have around any paddock. Great as it. Let me see Barry Uppy in. Just ahead of Michael Riddle there. Can't see Ed Garth there. He's up the front. Well, Jamie Wilkins being chased as he was in the earlier race by Mark Andrews. There, the back of this. Uh, Tony Hughes is ahead of Sean Goldsmith. Look at Duncan McMillan, Steve. Duncan McMillan, who's always been quick and has taken wins in Street Fighter C. But somehow here at Mallory, he really seems to be on it this weekend. Yeah, Big Dunk, he's uh, a great rider. He's a pilot by profession, and uh, he's really good, especially when the conditions are dry. Apparently, he's not much of a fan of the wet wet stuff, but uh, he's always been up there, and it looks like he's on his way to maybe securing third overall in the Street Fighter B title as well. So that'd be great for him, as we see uh, Street Fighter B chap there, Penrith Motorcycle rider Barry Uppick. Yep, Penrith Motorcycle, of course, offering a long and loyal support to Barry throughout his Career, good season sticking with him. There, Jamie Wilkins in the lead overall. And just looking back through that flip flop bus top chicane. And there we see Mark Andrews, number 22. Yeah, just standing plastic just behind him. There's Barry Upping. So, uh, Jamie Wilkins at the front, just trying to tally up as many wins as possible. I think uh, he has some automotive rider with that famous white Dalton spotted helmet. But look at this right here for uh, Street Fighter C. Goldsmith and uh, Hughes. Currently, Goldsmith behind Tony Hughes. Yeah, and both of them behind Duncan McMillan. That was number seven that went through ahead of them. So, a fantastic uh, chase for Street Fighter C. But if it finished like that, it means that championship is going to go down to Donington. Yeah, and that's the last thing Sean Goldsmith needs. Uh, he's, I'm sure he'd just like to head to Donington, relax, and have some fun. But uh, it looks like uh, he's going to have to wait another round. Lovely. Suzuki of Jamie Wilkins, beautifully prepared machine, powering to another win in Street Fighter A. And there we see in the background Darren Smith and Richard Harrison having a wonderful fight. They'll be third and fourth in Street Fighter B. And uh, the winner is practically overall and in Street Fighter A, the 2010 champion, Jamie Wilkins. We're pleased to wrap up another win from Andy Plaskett, Mark Andrews, Barry Utting finished fourth, Chris Matthews fifth, and Michael Riddle finished in sixth. There, Jamie Wilkins, Andy Plaskett, and Mark Andrew on the Street Fighter A podium. Well, there's the standings. Champion Jamie Wilkins from Chris Matthews, Mike Riddle, Mark Andrew, Andy Plaskett, and Lee Hardy. Thank <laughs> you.
This week, Quali B, Barry Attic took the win from Martin Stania and Darren Smith. Their standing to the champion already is Barry. From Martin Stania, Richard Harris, and Nigel Davies, Darren Smith, and Mark Lamb. And in Street Fighter C, it will go down to the wire because the winner will tackle the Macmillan, Tony Hughes, and Sean Goldsmith. Then we see the standings Goldsmith, Hughes, Macmillan, Mick Everett, Gary Coombe, and Pete Warren. Winner of Street Fighter C, Duncan Macmillan, uh, you've been longing for this interview for uh, quite a few races now. Yeah, I keep winning the races on a Saturday and there's no TV on a Saturday. Powered <laughs> uh, by Curry, you've been uh, riding. For various sponsors this year, you got plenty of respect, don't you? Yeah, but the zero and just started to try to beat Curry up, which is in Alistair, which you made motorcycles. Talked with Arsh down in Cornwall, with the engine. Simon the race engineer in the vehicle, they did a couple of tweaks, and it worked great in the second race. But last but not least, the wife let me come. Any invite for me for the Curry next time? Uh, yeah, if you come and pass, come though, yeah, anytime. <laughs> well done to you, Duncan. We'll move on to Barry Upping, winner of Street Fighter B. 2010 champion. We've not had a chance to speak to you since you clinched the title. Um, all the hard work over now, Barry. Yeah, last year it's been quite a tough season, but um, we're getting there now again. Uh, Why are you planning for 2011? Are you, going, you said you're going to pack it in for the start of this year. Is that going to happen or not? I'll tell you that like every year, so I don't know. I'll give it some thought in the winter now. We'll see you probably next year then, Barry. Well done to you. Uh, finally, we'll move on to the new Street Fighter A champion, Jane Wilkins. Um, massive relief now, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. I've learned a lot of lessons from last year. I made sure we approached this season a bit differently with that in mind. Uh, and it's just gone really well. We've put it together, put it together properly and the uh, vanguard pace everywhere. Chris Matthews pushed me hard. He went willingly today to get second place in the back of the grid. Uh, I think Joanne McConnell was having me earlier in the year doing that. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. It's so good to wrap it up here. Uh, it, it means a huge amount. So I of course want to say thank you to my sponsors, SMB Automotive Academy, uh, IBW Consultancy and my dog motorcycle solicitors. They've really helped me out so much. It's brilliant. I'm really happy. Well, there's more great action in a minute. We at the National Coffee Woodbecker will take a quick break.